quiz, film quiz, film quiz. Film quiz happening right now. Hello neighbours, thank you for joining me, your quiz host Dan. A little late than build, but apologies and a big hello to all our live players playing at 8pm on this Sunday the 7th of June. Hope you're all safe and well. Uh, you should be completing your pitch rounds about now. I'll just go over the clubhouse rules for any new players. Uh, you'll need two browser windows open, one for the quiz video and one for the quiz sheet to which you will submit your answers. Uh, you can play this uh, on one device or across a few devices, whichever is easier for you. But uh, however you play, have fun. As usual, we are raising donations for the Dudley NHS Foundation Trust charity. If you're in a position to, please give generously at justgiving.com forward slash FNC quiz. Uh, we are making up for our tidiness tonight with a brand new round, so uh, get excited for that. Without further ado, get comfortable folks. The Friendly Neighbourhood Cinema live online film quiz is about to begin. We start things off as we always do with round one, pick and mix, a general film trivia round that makes an attempt to be topical, despite, you know, the struggle. Hashtag. Okay, round one, question one. Under UK Gov restrictions, how many of Snow White's seven dwarves can meet in a public space? That's under UK government restrictions, how many of Snow White's seven dwarves can meet in a public space? This question shouldn't be difficult. The right uh, leadership. Won't get political. Okay, question two. Which film has been chosen as June's Friendly Neighbourhood Watch Film Club entry? That's which film has been chosen as June's Friendly Neighbourhood Watch Film Club entry? You are in an advertisement, folks, for Funny Neighborhood Watch, new film club we've just launched. Uh, check it out at uh, funnyneighborhoodcinema.co.uk forward slash fmwatch after this, of course. That would be cheating. Okay, question three. Emperor Kuzco switches bodies with which animal in 2000's The Emperor's New Groove? That's Emperor Kuzco switches bodies with which animal in 2000's The Emperor's New Groove? Was born and raised to rule. No one has ever been this cool. 
the alpha, the omega, a to z. Question 4. Which Star Wars actor gave a rousing speech at Hyde Park Black Lives Matter protests this week? That's which Star Wars actor gave a rousing speech at Hyde Park Black Lives Matter protests this week? It was not Baby Yoda as pictured here. Although I'm sure that would have been stirring. Okay, question five. A young Josh Brolin appeared in which 80 Spielberg hit now celebrating its 35th anniversary? That's a young Josh Brolin appeared in which 80 Spielberg hit now celebrating its 35th anniversary? Nineteen eighty-five was thirty-five years ago. Okay, finish up, folks. Let's move on to round two. Okay, folks, you understand our brand spanking new round. Sensational soundtracks. Now, canonically, this is due to the narrative of our virtual cinema being in disrepair due to last week's quiz. Um, that's right, there's canon now, um, but in a wider context, this is a big shout out to our pals, Record Culture, who have finally returned to the Savage High Street this week. Um, they will give you uh, great deals, great records. Check them out. Okay, folks, for this round, you must identify these sensational soundtracks from these not so sensational records. Um, not like the records you receive at Record Culture, of course. Um, identify the soundtrack, guys. Uh, let's give question one a spin. Identify that sensational soundtrack. Kind of funky. Okay, question two. Give it a spin. When I looked at you, Tennessee stood. Loving you, now I'll never be free. He had the block locked. He knew the spot blocked. Was away from time. Tennessee stud. Loving you. Now I'll never be free. He had the block locked. He knew the spot blocked. Was away from time. And finally, to play us out, no more requests. Question three.
hope you all got a little thrill out of that. Um, moving on, our final round. Finish up, folks. Hard to compete with all that, but nevertheless, we persist into our final round. Quiz Flicks. There's been a lot of good stuff on Netflix this week, so uh, I thought I'd make a round about it. Um, here you go. Okay, question one. Paul Bettany and Kirsten Dunst starred in which 2000s tale of tennis triumph? That's Paul Bettany and Kirsten Dunst starred in which 2000s tale of tennis triumph? Set myself a little tongue twister there. <laughs> nice try past me. Okay, question two. NWA's Ice Cube appeared in the 1995 cult classic named after which day of the week? That's NWA's Ice Cube appeared in the 1995 cult classic named after which day of the week? And a uh, haunting single by uh, Rebecca Black. Okay, question three. Which revolutionary Britpop band performed the theme song for 2004's Thunderbirds reboot? That's which revolutionary Britpop band performed the theme song for 2004's Thunderbirds reboot? The adjective revolutionary is either a big hint or a huge decoy, depending on your musical taste. Okay, question four. Which comic book legend cameoed in Kevin Smith's 1995 Morats? That's which comic book legend cameos in Kevin Smith's 1995 Morats? Okay, question five. Which Python directed 1998's Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? Which Python directed 1998's Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? Everyone's gonna rush to Netflix after this. Question six. The Magma Nificent Dante's Peak stars which former 007 actor? That's the Magma Nificent Dante's Peak stars which former 007 actor? This is a film about a volcano. This be Magma. Okay. <laughs> Question seven. Being blank is the 1999 Spike Jones film about a man who finds a portal to inside which actor's head? That's being blank is the 1999 Spike Jones film about a man who finds a portal to inside which actor's head? Eight, complete this very 2008 title Angus Thongs and Perfect What? That's complete this 2008 title Angus Thongs and Perfect What? I think when you hear films like this it really does feel like a time gone by you know it was hard to tell the identity at the time but I think it was this film Okay, question nine. Who is the long Oscar snub DOP behind the Coen's No Country for Old Men? That's who is the long Oscar snub DOP behind the Coen's No Country for Old Men? Since being rectified, 
Uh, we try and give a shout out to the cinematographers uh, in this quiz, if you hadn't noticed from the picture round. Yeah, they're, they're good to get into. Uh, you know, become a fan of one. Uh, the, they will be the guy who's doing The King of Staten Island. That's not on Netflix. Okay, question 10. Our final question of our final round. Hans Zimmer's score for 2010's Inception is composed from a slowed down version of which song? That's Hans Zimmer's score for 2010's Inception is composed from a slowed down version of which song? Alright, finish up folks. Hit next when you are good and ready. So folks, thank you so much everyone for playing. Honestly, it really means a lot. Uh, one last shout out to Stabbage's returning record shack. Bigger and better than ever, may I say. They've uh, done up the place. Uh, record culture. Uh, links somewhere. Have a look around. Um, keep an eye out for our now monthly film club, which debuted this month. Uh, keep an eye on friendlyneighbourcinema.co.uk forward slash fmwatch where you can also submit a little comment card, make a recommendation, use a review, uh, you know, get involved. Thank you for playing, thank you for donating and stay safe everyone, I'll see you all next week. Take care.